You want to make sure that step two is graded before you go on to this step. <clears throat> what you want to do first is draw these lines. These lines are drawn because that's where you're going to cut with the coping saw. You want to draw this line right here about an eighth of an inch away. So estimate an eighth of an inch and draw a line from one side to the other. If you're having trouble estimating where one eighth of an inch is, put a little mark. I'll do that for you. Then you go back to your desk and draw that line. Just connect the dots. These you can do freehand about the same distance. You want to draw a line here and in front. Once you have all these lines, show Mr. Kuhn and he will tell you if you did it correctly to go get a coping saw. When you put this in the vise, you want to have this straight up and down. It's easier to cut straight than at an angle. So put it in your vise so these lines are straight up and down. When you cut, you want to stand in front. This will be cut at an angle if you're standing at an angle. So you want to stand straight in front and make sure this is pointing away from you. You're going to try to cut on the line that you drew, not the pattern line. This saw cuts when you pull it towards you. And stop before you hit the table. This is a very thin blade, so it will break if you try to yank this out. So before you do that, you want to rock it back and forth and get it so it pulls out. Cut on the other line. Rock it back and forth as you pull it out, then flip it over. If it matches up, it's easier to pull it out this time because now it's two pieces. Just move it out a little bit and pull. This is step three. If you go on to step four without giving me this piece, you're going to get minus points. Lines. When you cut on these lines, you want to have it out from your table. You don't want to be cutting like this because you'll be cutting the wood, then you'll be cutting the table. So have it out. If you have it too close to the table, then the saw is going to hit the table. So make sure it's sticking out to do this step. And cut on the line. On your plans it says save the line. What it means by save the line is when you're done with this step, you still want to see where the pattern is. So you're cutting on the lines that you drew. If I put this in the vise with the pencil lines facing me, I'm going to be standing in the wrong spot. You want to have it so this is facing you and you start by cutting straight down. So I need to put it in the vise this way, but I can't stand over here because I don't see the pencil line. So you got to go over to the other side of your wood. Cut it on your knees. Start cutting straight. When you start cutting the curve, you want to make short lip cuts and slowly turn this out that way. I can do the step I just did on this side because the pencil lines are facing me. mistakes you make on step three and four can be fixed on step five. So don't worry if your project doesn't look that good. Step four, give me two sides of the project and four scraps.